with you I can't be sad with you Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams Where the skies are so clear With you I wanna stay with you I wanna stay with you Hi, I'm Poe, a polar bear from the Arctic Circle, and this is my best friend Berg, the sea lion. Berg? We both live in space, on board our spaceship, the Solar Polar, with our penguin friends Iggy and Ziggy. When we're not cruising the cosmos and eating ice lollies, we like to go on adventures. Our mission is to rescue our animal friends and teach the world how to take care of our planet. Before we start our next adventure, you might be wondering how a polar bear and a sea lion came to live in space. Well, here's our story. Not so long ago, the Arctic was a nice and frosty place to live. With miles and miles of frozen ocean, huge ice caps and lovely cold winds. Perfect for us polar bears and sea lions. But our home slowly began to change everything started to get warmer, and our frozen land started to get smaller. Our ice caves began to thaw, drip, drop, drip, drop, until there were no more. Slowly but surely, we all began to drift apart. Me and Dad would often stare at the stars at night before bed. He would always tell me, Don't worry, son. Things will start frosting up again soon. How? Everyone needs to start taking better care of the planet. If we could just get the word out to people on what they can do to help. I'll find a way to save us, Dad. <laughs> I'm sure you will, son. Dad, has a polar bear ever been into space? Not that I'm aware of. Now get to sleep. You'll wake up your mother. Mom, Dad, I'm going fishing. I'll be back soon. Mum? Dad? I was all alone. Until... Well, hello there, little fella. You gave me a fright. Bird. My name's Poe. Pleased to meet you. What's your name? Berg! Do you mind if I just call you Berg? Well, to be honest, Berg, I'm in a spot of bother. I've drifted from home and have no clue where I am. Do you think you could get us out of here? Berg! I have an idea. And off we went in search of land. Along the way, we noticed all this rubbish floating in the ocean. What a mess! Look, Bug! Land! <laughs> Who goes there? I'm Poe, and this is Bug. 
And what brings you to Bill's scrapyard? I got separated from my family and drifted out to sea. We lost, and a little hungry. In that case, come on in. It will be dark soon. I hope you lads like fish head stew. Come on, Berg. Don't be scared. I'm here to look after you, because that's what friends do. Welcome aboard, lads. Thank you for taking us in for the night, Bill. We promise to be no bother. Now, now, young bear. I couldn't leave a fellow mammal stranded at sea. Can I ask you a question, Bill? Within reason. Why do you collect so much rubbish? You see, people have a lot of things, and throw a lot of these things away. This rubbish often finds its way into the ocean. I decided to make things out of this unwanted rubbish. What did you make? I make a lot of things. A rocket. A rocket? Tell us about the rocket. It's just a pile of junk. I couldn't get it to work. We could help you. I've always wanted to go to space. This isn't just any rocket. It's a solar powered rocket. It uses the sun's energy to fly. Wow. So it doesn't hurt the environment? You catch on quick, lad. Why did you make it? To keep a close eye on the planet and to help any animals who need it. We want to help. Get a good night's sleep, my polar bear friend. We'll start work on it tomorrow. Here she is. Let's get to work. It was ready. Great work, lads! She's ready for takeoff. Aren't you coming with us? No, I'm too old. And besides, you're going to need someone on the ground. Thanks for everything, Bill. You're a good lad, Bo. You can make this world a better place. We'll try our best. Stay, as long as you promise not to cause too much mischief. Right, gang. I just need to make a quick stop.
Our solar-powered rocket would take us into the stars in search of ways to care for the environment and its animals, saving the planet one step at a time. There's been an oil spillage in the Atlantic. We've got a seabird in trouble. Sending you over the location now. And so the next adventure begins. Thank <laughs> you.